I used to think olive oil was the healthiest fat on the planet. It was the one ingredient I never questioned. Drizzle it on salads? Healthy. Cook with it? Even healthier. A little sip every morning? Supposedly life-changing. For years, I thought if something had the words olive oil on the label, it automatically meant heart-healthy, Mediterranean-approved, and endorsed by every longevity expert alive. But then I found out that the phrase olive oil has become a buzzword, a marketing spell, and that most of what we're buying isn't even olive oil. It turns out up to 70% of the olive oils on U.S. grocery shelves are either fake, rancid, or diluted with cheaper seed oils. That means the beautiful green gold liquid you think came from sun-drenched Mediterranean groves might actually be a cocktail of soybean, canola, and sunflower oil. And the worst part? It's often sold under prestigious-sounding labels. Imported from Italy. Cold-pressed. Extra virgin. But those words don't mean what you think they do. Some companies literally perfume their fake oil to smell authentic. They blend old, oxidized oil with a splash of the real thing, then mask the scent so you can't tell. It's like paying for a Ferrari and getting a repainted golf cart with a prancing horse sticker on the hood. Let's talk about why this matters. Because not all oil fraud is cosmetic. Real extra virgin olive oil is loaded with polyphenols, the antioxidants that give it that peppery bite at the back of your throat. Those compounds protect your cells from oxidative stress, basically the rusting that happens inside your body when free radicals build up. Think of it like cutting an apple in half. The side that turns brown? That's oxidation. Your cells experience the same thing when you eat damaged oils. Now here's the irony. The very oils being sold as anti-inflammatory are often already oxidized before you even open the bottle. So instead of reducing inflammation, they're adding to it. Here's where it gets wild, and honestly, a little depressing. In the United States, there's no legally enforced standard for what can be labeled extra virgin olive oil. In Europe, especially Italy, Spain, and Greece, there are strict definitions. But once that oil leaves the country, the rules basically vanish. A company can import old, oxidized oil from multiple countries, blend it together, bottle it in the U.S., and legally label it product of the USA. It's the same trick used in the avocado oil industry, geographic smoke and mirrors. And worse, some distributors buy up industrial-grade olive oil, the kind meant for soap or lamp oil, then refine it, deodorize it, and sell it as food grade. That's why some olive oils smell faintly like crayons or taste flat and greasy instead of grassy or peppery. They've been stripped of the very nutrients that made olive oil famous in the first place. And this is where the story turns philosophical. Because olive oil didn't just get faked. It got weaponized. It became a buzzword so powerful that the label itself became the product. Companies realized they didn't need to make real olive oil. They just needed to say olive oil. It's on chips, crackers, mayonnaise, margarine, frozen dinners, even dog food. Marketers figured out they could slap made with olive oil on the front, add a few drops of the real thing, and watch sales skyrocket. But those products still rely on cheap, unstable seed oils as their main fat source. The same ones that drive inflammation, insulin resistance, and cellular aging. So you end up buying something thinking it's healthy because it whispers the right words. Olive oil. But it's the same junk with a halo on top. We've reached a point where the word olive oil sells better than olive oil itself. It's like the health equivalent of fake friendship. We see the right words, loyalty, honesty, authenticity, but the actions don't match. The bottle says pure. The contents say cheap imitation. It's not just a scam of the body. It's a scam of trust. Let's not forget why olive oil deserves its reputation when it's genuine. Real extra virgin olive oil, freshly pressed and protected from heat and light, contains compounds like oleocanthal, which acts almost like ibuprofen inside your body. It literally blocks inflammatory pathways. It's one of the reasons the Mediterranean diet works, not because people there drown in oil, but because they consume pure oil, rich in antioxidants. One tablespoon of high-quality olive oil contains hundreds of bioactive compounds that lower blood pressure, protect the heart, 
and even boost brain health. So yes, olive oil can absolutely be medicine. But the fake version can quietly undo all that good. Let's decode a few marketing phrases. Pure olive oil. Ironically means refined, stripped, and deodorized. Basically the lowest grade you can legally sell. Light olive oil. Doesn't mean fewer calories, just less flavor, because it's been bleached and processed. Imparted from Italy. Usually means the oil was only bottled there, not grown or pressed. And if there's no harvest date on the bottle, big red flag. The shelf life of real olive oil is only about 18 to 24 months from harvest. If there's no date, it could be years old. And oxidation doesn't stop once it's bottled, especially if it's in clear glass or, even worse, plastic. Here's how to protect yourself and your health. Number one, look for a harvest date, not best buy, not bottled on, harvest date. Number two, buy dark glass bottles. Light and heat destroy antioxidants. Number three, choose smaller bottles. Oxygen starts breaking down the oil the moment you open it. Number four, check for certification seals, like the California Olive Oil Council mark. Number five, smell and taste it. Real extra virgin olive oil should smell fresh, grassy, or like tomatoes, never waxy or neutral. Number six, expect to pay for quality. True olive oil is labor intensive. If it's cheap, it's probably fake. And finally, cook smart. Use olive oil for salads, drizzle, or light sauteing, not for high heat frying. So yes, olive oil is one of the healthiest fats in the world. But only when it's real. The tragedy is that it became so famous for being good that the fame itself attracted corruption. It's the curse of every great thing. Once something becomes sacred, people find a way to profit from the illusion. The solution isn't to give up on olive oil. It's to wake up to the difference between the idea of olive oil and the truth of it. When you get the real stuff, fresh, cold-pressed, bitter, alive, you can taste the Mediterranean sun in every drop. You can feel that it's closer to food than product, closer to nature than marketing. And in that difference lies the heart of longevity itself. Real over fake. Substance over slogan. Wisdom over hype. Next time, we're pulling back the curtain on another so-called health food that's been hijacked by marketing, one that might be sitting in your pantry right now. If this video opened your eyes, share it with someone who still believes all olive oil is created equal. Comment below, what brand do you trust? Or have you ever been burned by a healthy label that turned out to be fake? Your stories help others stay sharp. And that's what Senior Zone is all about. Staying informed, staying empowered, and staying real. Thanks for watching. Take care of your health, and we'll see you soon on Senior Zone, where longevity starts.